Hello, everyone. I'm glad to share our 3PR 2024 highlight work, Distribution, Distributed Parallel Inference for High-Resolution Diffusion Models. AI-generated contents, or AIGC, has recently gained a lot of attention and produced remarkable results. Diffusion models play a vital role in achieving such milestones. However, they are computationally expensive. For example, a single step of SDXL requires 6.6 .6 times more computation than VITH and 1.5 times more than LAMA 3 ab Moreover, the computation scales superquadratically with the resolution. Such prohibitive computation amounts presents a tremendous barrier for the applications. Recent efforts to accelerate diffusion models mainly focus on two approaches, reducing sampling steps such as progressive distillation and optimizing model inference such as SIGE. As computational resources grow rapidly, leveraging multiple GPUs to speed up inference is appealing. For example, Large language models have harnessed the tensor horizon across GPUs, significantly reducing latency. However, for diffusion models, when generating a single image, typically only one GPU is involved. It is hard to parallelize different time steps due to the sequential denoising process. Techniques like tensor parallelisms are less suitable due to the large activation sites as communication costs outweigh savings from distributed computation. So, how to parallelize diffusion models? A naive approach would be to divide the image into several patches, assigning each to a different device for generation. This method allows for independent and parallel operations across devices. However, it suffers from severe fragmentation issues due to the lack of interactions between patches. Introducing interactions would incur excessive synchronization costs again, offsetting the benefits of parallel processing. In fact, inputs across adjacent time steps are very similar. Motivated by this, we propose displace the patch parallelism which reuses the pre-computed activations from the previous step to provide global context and patch interactions for the current step. In this way, the communication can be overlapped by the computation and the overhead can be hidden. We further implement such a system with asynchronous communication called distribution. When we get the input for the time step t, we first split it into patches across devices and feed them into the model layer by layer. At layer L, each device will have an activation patch. We first use an asynchronous orgasm to concat and cache the features for the next step. Note this communication is overlapped with computation and the current step should have already received the cached stale activations from the previous step. We then scatter the activation patches back into the stale features and only perform the computation sparsely at the fresh regions. Finally, we get the predicted noise and xt-1 and repeat this process for the following time steps. Please refer to our papers for more details. Here, we show the efficiency results of distribution. In the original 1K resolution, we achieved 1.5 and 2.8 times speedups on 2 and 8 A100s, respectively. This is because the devices are underutilized. To maximize device usage, we further scaled the resolution to 2K and 4K. Specifically, for 4K images, distribution reduces the latency by 6 times with 8 A100s. Here, we show our quality results. These are the original images. Using the naive parallelism without any interaction can achieve a 3.9 times speed up, but the images have noticeable duplicated subjects. Our distribution can well preserve the quality with no visual differences with 3 times speed ups. Thank you very much for your listening.